son of a 63-year-old mobile man who died from a Vibrio vilificus infection. Well, he says he's still trying to get some answers. Fox 10 News reporter Steve Alexander joining us live in the newsroom with much more on that story and the bacteria. Steve, what can you tell us? That's a story Fox 10 first told you about a week ago. The Mobile County Health Department had reported that two men had been diagnosed with having the so-called flesh-eating bacteria of Vibrio vilificus and that one had died. Well, David Cox says his father, Wayne Anderson, was one of the men and the man who died. The health department says the two both had underlying health conditions, but Cox says his father had no health problems and that he died a painful death after having had his leg amputated. We had to keep asking ourselves, is, is, is this really happening? Is this, this really going on right now? It was, it was like being in a nightmare. It was, it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life as far as the way somebody dies, you know, for someone to have to go through that, to die like that. Now, Cox says his father would go crabbing in Heron Bay and is worried that more people will get sick and possibly die from the bacteria. You can hear his compelling interview on Fox10TV.com on our Fox10 website. Now, also on Fox10TV.com tonight, you can still catch Red Snapper, believe it or not, in one part of our area after you see all the good stuff that was caught in Gulf Shores. We'll tell you exactly where that is going on and for how long. And you may know a victim of domestic violence, but do you know exactly what to do to help that victim and what is your duty to do? We'll have that also coming up on Fox10TV.com, our Fox10 website. Reporting live from the newsroom, Steve Alexander, Fox10 News.